Do you feel like your heart has been broken into a million pieces? Do you feel like you really just can't go on? I know I have been there on so many levels, relationship-wise, health-wise, career-wise, in every way I have been tested. And I don't know if you've ever felt so broken that you just really didn't feel like you could go on. Like you just felt so alone, incredibly separated from everyone, especially during this global pandemic. You don't see any way out whatsoever. Well, I'm here to tell you God wants you well. And I believe that God can heal you fully and completely, but you need to give him all the pieces. The question is, will you fully surrender to God? Or will you try to control some of the pieces and thereby not release all the pieces to him? Today in this video, I am going to share four ways of how you fully surrender to God. And I know this took a lot of time for me. I was born again on March 5th, 2019 and I accepted Jesus into my heart and then I started reading the Bible and I got baptized on June 30th, 2019. And since then, I've just been on a steady pace with the Lord and really seeking Him and seeking to understand. But the first thing I had to do was not trying to understand in the way that the natural mind thinks, in the way that my brain would think, because God's ways are not our ways. God's ways are higher. And sometimes when you surrender every piece to him, you don't know where your life is gonna end up. And it's like a process of peeling an onion, or it's like a process of slowly becoming aware of who you really are, your identity in Christ. And it just takes layers upon layers, surrender upon surrender. And it has taken me even a few years to really come to that place, because I thought I'd surrendered. I thought I surrendered to Jesus the moment I was born again. Then I thought I surrendered when I got baptized. And I thought I surrendered when I was reading the Bible every day. And I thought I surrendered. And it just keeps going and going and going. And more pieces of me are being removed and thereby God can come fully in. So the first verse that I want to share with you today is Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. Do not lean on your own understanding. You really, really have to trust God's ways. His ways are so much better than ours. We think we can manipulate and control different pieces of our life, but actually he has a way better method and he has a way better plan for your life than you even have for your own life. The second way to fully surrender is in the verse Isaiah 40. 31. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So the second way is you have to wait on God. You have to wait on the Lord. Don't try to do things in your own timing. Always be checking in. Always be hearing his voice. Always be on the lookout for what God is sharing to you. And God can speak in so many ways to you. Really wait on Him. Wait on His timing. Wait on His method. Wait on what He's going to do in your life. The third way to fully surrender to God is to know that the thoughts He has towards you are way better than the thoughts you have of yourself. And a lot of people struggle with self-condemnation. So why not just surrender it to God? In Jeremiah 29, 11, it says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not evil, to give you a future and a hope. Another translation says, to give you an expected end. So don't think your life is going to come to a sudden end. God holds all of our lives in His hands. And in His perfect timing, He can restore you, redeem you, bring you back to life, mend all your broken pieces together and make you feel completely whole. So really at the end of the day, what I wanna share with you in this video is in order to fully surrender to God, 
Give him all the pieces of your life. He can make you whole much better than you ever could in your own strength. Let me know in the comments what you think of this video and I'll see you in the next one.